Brockmeister on the phone. Did you forget you sent him a check last week? So what? By now, that baby will be bouncing all over his office. Well, that'll just give him a very good reason to see me, won't it, huh? Oh. Will you just call Sheldon's secretary? Or... Oh, and uh, tell her I'm, I'm racing right over. Your dime. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Back, two, three, four. Bigger circles, Bigger. come on. Right. Forward, two, three, four, five, what? six, seven, oh. and eight. Oh. Take a break. Whew. You see that? Give me three weeks. I'm going to look just like that. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh. Uh, Shelley, what, what employment agency do you use? Talk, Harry. <laughs> I know, uh, serious, you wouldn't be here. Especially after that check you sent me. Oh, that was just a bookkeeping error. Shall I do is put the check through again. But look, I need your uh, expert legal advice on a few minor matters here. Before uh, you go on, you should know I'm charging 400 an hour to listen to this. 400? Uh, right. Okay, number one, my car's been repossessed. Again? Number two, Shapiro's going to evict me if I don't get the rent by Friday. Number three, I was handed a subpoena this morning. Harry, you know, I, I just don't understand you. You're a smart guy. For a while, you had the Midas touch. I mean, your acts were winning Grammys. People well, really I... like you. But lately, excuse my French, everything you handle turns to caca. Shelley, I've just been a little down on my luck lately. No, That's you all. do it to yourself, a... Harry. You're always looking for the easy way out, the shortcut, the quick fix. It's just like that loan you took out from that Korean savings and loan. Who does things How like that? How was I supposed to know it was for 30 days? The loan documents were in Japanese. Korean, Harry. You're well, just lucky I beat it on a technicality. You know, you always have some excuse. Well, I don't have an excuse this time. All right, Shelly, you gotta help me. Please, give me a hand. Yeah, huh? Just take a look. I'm in a real jam. There, you see? Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh a lot of stuff here. I know that, Shelly. Oh, boy. Well, you know, maybe we can help each other out. Yeah? Yeah. You know, I can handle the credit card subpoena. Yeah. I can take care of Shapiro. Yeah. If all goes well, I can take a crack at getting your car back. Tell you what, I'll even advance you a couple of thousand as sort of a loan. Great. And, uh, what do I have to do for you? You remember uh, Bitsy Vanderwegen? No, I, I uh... Vanderwegen Department Stores, one oh, of my biggest right, clients. Right, right, right. Well, Bitsy's been appointed chairperson of the finance committee for Norton Wilshire's campaign for governor. Yeah. I was appointed co-chairman, and I am now appointing you entertainment chairman. <laughs> Norton Wilshire. I can't believe this, Shelley. I mean, you've always had impeccable taste, Norton Wilshire. I mean, he's a Pompous, phony windbag. He's, he's, he's dickless. Harry, cool it, okay. all right? I'm well, not asking you to vote for the man. I just right, want well, you to do what you do best, just arrange the acts. Well, you I... know, this could be just what you need to get back on your feet. Back on my feet? I start calling in favors for a Norton Wilshire fundraiser. I'll be history in the music business. Harry, I'm no, giving no, you no, a no, chance no, no, here. No, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just cannot do it. You know, I have a few principles left. Yeah. Well hidden. Ha, ha. Harry. You don't take my deal, what are you gonna do? What I always do, manage. You seem bigger on screen, Mr. Eastwood. Ah, oh, thanks for the lift, huh? Don't do anything to it. Just give her a bill. She'll never know the difference. Hey, Scotty, how you doing? 
No, no, whatever it is, the answer is absolutely not. Hey, Every what? time you come in what? here, it costs me money. Oh, what are you talking about? That's I... $1,700 for the Ferrari. But you didn't get the check? No, no check, come on. There's $4,000 the insurance company had to pay for the loaner car that you wrecked. Will... And then, there is the little matter of my waiting in a restaurant for hours and hours and hours for some Hollywood star that was supposed to show up and spend wait, wait, a night wait, wait, with me. This is unbelievable, you know? I tell you, I come here to do you a favor, and you jump all over me. You this gonna do me a favor? That's right. I just happen to have four tickets and two dates to a Bruce Springsteen concert tonight, and I immediately thought of my good friend Scotty, you know? Thought maybe we could double up and, uh, you know, have some laughs, but no, no, no. I don't want to cause you any problems, so forget it. Wait, 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 wait. Springsteen? Himself. Uh, what is, uh, what does my, uh, date look like? Nice. Scotty, Vegas showgirls, beautiful. You can have your pick. Well, okay. That's <laughs> a deal, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Scotty, really. I gotta pick him up at the airport coming in in 30 minutes, okay? All right. All right. All right. Oh, God, God, I got the Ferrari. It's only got two seats. Yeah. Hey, isn't that my landlord, Myron Shapiro's car? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's ready to go back. Well, uh, wait, uh, I, no, I got it. Uh, no, no, look, I'll do you a favor. Let me use the car to pick the girls up, and then I can return the car to Shapiro himself tomorrow morning. Oh, gosh, oh, I don't know. Come on, Scott. It'd be our little secret. Shapiro never has to know. Huh? Gee, I don't know. Great, Harry, great. Scotty, your wife's on line one. Scotty. Scotty, your wife's on line two. What? Harry? Yeah. Uh, just for old time's sake, uh, -huh. uh I'll hold the tickets. Oh, Scotty, when are you going to learn to trust me? Scotty, Angeline is on line two, please. Son of a bitch.